Okay, welcome back. So we can, you know, notice we have a divider. And this would work quite well as a block as well, right? So let's select the container and we say block divider title divider and the category will again be page sections. Uh, okay, we'll take a look at it later. It, we just defined it. Now let's go and, and do the work section. That's kind of section that showcases our projects or achievements. And this will make a nice block as well. So block, unique ID is, let's call it a project, right? Projects, because this represents our projects. And that's it. Oh yeah, the, the category will be page sections. And now let's make it editable. Some of our, my recent projects, so block attributes, this will be, let's say top, top title. And this will be the title. Okay, no need for attributes options. And then uh, we all, let's do this one as well. This is again a button. So we will say button link. An add attribute and this one will be button label. And it will be used as content. Okay, and what to do with this, uh, like projects? So let's let's investigate the structure of the. So again, we have a row, and then each of these is a bootstrap column. So what we will do is we will say the row is block inner content, and this one can contain only project, and then we will select the first div and we will add block action and we will define the project block. ID is project, title is project, category is again page sections. And now let's make it editable. So we have image, And then we have name. And we have description or like the, yeah, let's, let's use description. And uh, let's go to attribute options and we will select control type a text area or let's say let's say rich text again. And then notice like here all of this is enclosed into an anchor into a link so that we, we can do we can create a link that takes us to the page for this project. So we select the link here and we say block attributes link, link. Okay, let's export the project and go to WordPress and reload it. And then here we have, like first we can add the divider and then we add projects. 
and we can edit it. So these are not project, the page is about surfing, so it will be competitions maybe. Achievements. Oops, spelling, yeah. Okay, and then we can start editing the, the project. We just select, and then let's select <coughs> change the image And of course the image sizes, uh, we could try to, to find like the, the more appropriate size. We could also define like size with uh, equal height if, if we want. So that's all customizable. We can, we can do whatever we want. Um, so here I will select large. This won't really change the shape of the image. And we can also edit the, the text. I won't do that here, I won't edit it. It will ta take too, too long. Okay, let's update and reload. And here we can see our divider and our achievements. And the button in each one is linked. But uh, there is a slight difference. If we go back to our project, and here we notice that some of the columns are kind of raised up. And if we investigate, we notice they have like bootstrap, margin top for medium and up, negative five. So this pulls up the block. And would be nice if we have the option to do that, right? Um, and actually we can do it. So let's, uh, let, let's remember the name of the class, MT, MD, N5. And then let's go back to our block definition in WordPress panel. And so we here, here we have block action, and then let's add block attributes action. And we will call it pull up. And it will be used as a class. And we can replace a class that is already here, but we don't need that because the, the class we, we are using um, is not yet there. So we'll just say pull up. And then what kind of control? We, we, we don't want text field where people could just enter any, any random class, right? So what we will do is we will say this is a toggle. And the value of the toggle is our class. Margin top, MD, negative five. Okay, let's save and this export of the block and refresh it. So now we have pull up option. And then we, we don't do it on the first block, we select the second and we say pull up. And we select the fourth and we say pull up. 
and we got the same effect that we had in our source file and we have full control over it. We can use it or we, we don't have to use it. We have a nice toggle control. And let's, let's reload the page and, and kind of marvel at our achievement. Yeah, and here, here they are. Don't go away yet, we forgot one thing. Um, you know, look here, add blocks. Okay, if, if uh, none is selected, add blocks. And our page sections, sections category is getting quite crowded. And for example, here we have project block and projects. And we don't really want to use project on its own. It's only usable as a sub block of projects, right? So, and the same same goes with uh, for the counter. And is there a way to hide them from here and only make them useful or only make them available when we are inserting them into their parent blocks? And yes, we can do that. So let's go back to Pinegrove. And here on the, on the project block, we go to project, we go to block action, and here in the more options we have parents. And here we'll, we give a list of blocks that are allowed as parents, and in this case, this is only projects. Let's export and reload the editor and project is gone. We can only use it to insert when we, when we select the project block, then we have the option to insert the, pro, the new project here. Let's delete it. And uh, while we are here, another nice feature of using the inner block content is that we can use these controls to reorder our blocks, to add new, to remove them. So it's very flexible and very easy to use.